was a house built out of stone. Hi, my name is Omar. I run track and field, and my events are the 800, the 1600, and the 3200. Track to me is, it's a way of life. It's physically drenching, but mentally it helps me clear my mind and you know get rid of anything that I have. And for those few hours that I'm practicing every day, uh, I get to think of just track and track alone, especially during race day. For those few minutes, nothing but that race matters. So it's, it's uh, keeps me calm. one year to tell me if you're just practicing during school hours with the team you're not getting enough work so that's why I try to do my own little workout even if it's for 20 to 30 minutes every other day in order to train for these events uh, I do two types of workouts I do a speed workout which consists of a lot of uh, explosive movements and running in short distance and then I'll do distance runs which consists of running from three to eight miles a day. So track is 80% mental and 20% physical because you can train your body to be as good as you want it to be, but if mentally you have a negative outlook on uh, the race, you'll be, I can't do it, I can't do it. You'll never be as great as you want to be. A lot of people think that track is just uh, running, but it really isn't. Like, for example, uh, myself, I can't compete with a sprinter because a sprinter does explosive workouts in a short distance of time, and that's what their, that's what their profession is. That's what they focus on. Me who does distance, I could beat them in the long run, but in the short run, they'd beat me. So it really is more strategic than what people think it's thought out to be. So what keeps me going is uh, the fact that I have, track is a, a team sport. Even though you're running your race individually, uh, points add up to, for your team to win. So what keeps me going, even if I'm tired or I'm exhausted after a workout would be that I'm able to complete that race and get the points for my team and eventually lead them to the victory. This part of my life, this little part, is called happiness. <laughs>